Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yuli. Today we're gonna react to 10 scary ghost videos. Yeah, I hope this is good because I love scary, like ghost videos and stuff. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, let's go, guys. So obviously, if you're a regular viewer, you know I love ghosts, creatures, critters, and basically all things creepy, just as much as you guys do. And that's why I'm very proud to say that this video is sponsored by Shudder, a streaming service for horror, thriller, and supernatural content. I personally have watched several really great Shudder original series and movies, like the great found footage film Host. Yes, sir. We're connecting with something. We gotta keep going. We gotta talk to it. Ultimate Halloween horror movie. Thank you. And the amazing Shutter original series Creep Show, which is by far my favorite horror anthology series. I want to see that. Now, when you sign up for Shutter, you get access to the largest collection of great horror movies and series available right on your I favorite love devices. Tell me a story. Something dark and twisted. Something awesome. And with a special deal just for Nuke's Top 5 viewers, get a Shutter 30-day trial completely free. Just sign up with my promo code NUKE, that's N-U-K-E, that you can enter on Shutter.com. Now let's get into this week's Top 5, ooh, Top 10, Top 10 Ghosts Caught on Camera. The Haunted Hill House. The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S., with an over 125-year dark and troubling past, that doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was once a haven for illegal activity. It served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, I don't like and even a brothel. At all. It also served but as I a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. Mm. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited mm -hmm. by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested groups and curiosity seekers. So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to have a little fun. None of the group were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. But that's not exactly how things went down. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to as Dr. Yeager. One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Yeager. Bad idea. It did not go well. Mm-hmm. Don't think so. What's gonna happen? Why is she looking devilish? As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. Holy shit. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular That's screen. Like fade, man. Bitch, play around. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. No, I'm scared. The house has a okay. static black and white security camera in every room and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and behind. the group makes a run for it. One of the guys is so yep. shook, he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind He's him. Playing around. Now, cut to almost one hour later, around 3 a.m. A guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. So he enters the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of, quote, Dr. Yeager. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I even finish my sentence, I'll say that. All right, we're going to pull that. You see, he got pushed. So, Drew got his wish. He is violently shoved by something, and then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. It should be noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the Haunted Hill House mm. ever again. Don't get but wrong. it gets even weirder. After Drew is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. So is the Haunted Hill House one of the most haunted places on Earth? 
Would you go into that room and talk to spirit no. of Dr. Jaeger? Hell no. Know? Down in the comments. Never. Living with yeah. unexplained back pain and fatigue is a monster pain. Your pain That's is real, true. and it could be a form of... Invisible friend. Tic Tac user Luan, also known as Joshua Luck from Mexico, had a Tic Tac account dedicated entirely to his two-year-old son. Luan operates a general store on the first floor of his house that he shares with his wife and children. Then one day, Luan's video content drastically changes as his two-year-old son begins to claim that he sees what he describes as a terrifying invisible child. This alleged invisible child scares Luan's son so much that he often cries in fear. Luan says that he doesn't see anything, but he says he has experienced a few strange incidents with things around the house seeming to move on their own. Mm -hmm. Then late one night at four in the morning, Luan is awoken by unexplained loud noises coming from downstairs. Thinking his store is getting robbed, he records everything as he runs downstairs. <sighs> For the first time, Luan captures something on camera that he can't explain. A chair moves on its own. He was not cold, so Over the next few days, the unexplained activity seems to intensify every single night. Things fall off shelves without explanation. The family starts to hear whispers. And late at night, they hear a light tapping sound coming from inside their bedroom closet. One night when the knocking sound from inside the closet becomes terrifyingly loud, Luan once again decides to record to collect proof. Vamos con los niños. Vamos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. Aquí tampoco. Vamos con los niños, vente. Luan and his wife are lying in bed when the closet door swings open on its own. Then something seems to peek out at them from inside the closet. Luan rushes over to look inside, but there's nothing there. His wife seems legitimately terrified. They take the kids and leave the home for the night. I see of course, room, eventually, right? Luan and his family have to return, so they decide to do an overnight recording session, hoping to catch some evidence of the strange activity in their home. What they capture is downright chilling. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, 
Did you see it? No. Luan claims that his phone battery died right at the moment he captured something terrifying on camera. A face with glowing eyes is staring right at them from the entrance of the store. But the bizarre activity didn't end there. On another night, Luan hears something knocking on their door. He turns on all the lights and once again starts recording. Muchos amigos me tocaron la puerta. Este carrito estaba en el sillón, se cayó. No, 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 Aquí en el baño. Aquí. Como pueden ver. Está vacío. Vamos a por acá. Vamos a checar si de acá viene. No está todo tranquilo. Vamos a ver si aquí de la tienda. Si entro la tienda. Parece que aquí no es. Se quieren acá. Venga. Vamos a ver. No, aquí no son. As he pans his camera, someone or uh, something with long dark hair seems to quickly move away and out of sight. But nothing compares to what happens on the night of October 18th. When the one goes to the restroom, something knocks on his bathroom door. That's when things get like truly really bizarre. Me está tocando la puerta. Me siento muy nervioso, no sé qué hacer. Me toca la puerta. Se tiene el problema. Me hace una sombra. Me está viendo esto. Pero no hay nada aquí. No hay nada aquí. Este lado. Se me hace una sombra. No sé qué hacer, amigo. Estoy un poco nervioso. Estoy un poco nervioso. Si llegamos a la tienda, venga, vamos a ver. ¿Qué es eso? Vamos a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Something knocks on the door. Objects have fallen on the floor. Exercise equipment is moving on its own. But creepiest of all, as Luan pans his camera around his living room, in one split second, he captures a shadow figure sitting on his couch. I think it's fake. The same couch that was empty only a moment earlier. So what do you think is happening to Luan and his family? I love somebody is there a home in store haunted by a dark entity? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at mixtop5.gmail.com. Watcher. The following footage was sent to me by a new top five viewer who wishes to remain completely anonymous to protect his job. So for the purposes of protecting his anonymity, I'll simply refer to him as John in the video. So, John says that he works overnight security at a well-known logistics company. He says that one night, a fellow worker at his job became overheated and collapsed, falling over a two-story high railing. Unfortunately, he did not survive the fall. Much later, that same night at around 3 a.m. in the morning, John says that he was doing what he calls, quote, camera patrol. Basically, just checking the footage from all of the building's inner and outer surveillance cameras. That's when he spotted this. Hey, what's up, Luke? Um, can't really be on my phone in here, so I have the brightness all the way down. But I'm security at this place, and I am in the camera room where I'm having access to a lot of the cameras. And I just reported to my supervisor that I noticed someone just kind of like standing. Um, in the grass across from, uh, from the building. I wanted to show it to you. Um, so yeah, I can't have my phone on full on the screen for too long. But I'm going to try to show you the two best viewpoints that I have. Um, so yeah, here's the first viewpoint. So, it's that right there. There's no tree, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't care how you try to zoom in. Like, you're in a bad viewpoint, but like, there it is to the left. And like, this is a 24 camera, 24 frame, uh, 1080p camera. But like, it's so like, dark and extinguished. So yeah. John says that the misty shape of a person was just standing in a nearby field. John says that he watched for hours. He says the figure moved slightly from time to time, but never came any closer. Perhaps even more bizarre, he says that he almost felt like the misty figure was actually staring back at him through the cameras. Abandoned. Popular Chinese ghost hunter King Ming from the YouTube channel O1 Supernatural Studio investigates an old abandoned house in Taiwan that has a dark past. Mm -mm. As the story goes, a man and his elderly mother lived in the home. The man had a severe gambling addiction, and after taking all of his mother's money, he left the old woman all alone with nothing, not even food to eat. The poor old woman starved. Rumors say that her neglected spirit is unable to move on and still waits in the house for her son oh, to return. So Ghost hunter King Ming hears some odd sounds and voices in that the abandoned so house. Sad. But other than that, nothing much Man, happens. That is, so sad. that is, until he tells the sad story of what took place in the home. That's when things get downright chilling. <laughs> Keening doesn't see it himself, but his camera records what appears to be a pale translucent face peeking from behind a corner. Many of King Ming's viewers believe the mysterious uh, yeah. face to be the elderly woman who passed away inside the home, still waiting for her son to return. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, no. I met my publisher I'm scared myself at that conference. Tonight. I don't know why and my I'm book is to almost myself, done. I love I'm in the final edit of these videos at the same time. A connection from beyond. Sarah Lee Sager is jokingly recording the live feed from their new security camera as her boyfriend Stacy is outside their apartment in the dark, struggling to get the new camera installed. But even as Stacy is outside installing the brand new security camera, he captures someone who just shouldn't be there. Mm -mm. I'm video recording him. Oi! I just seen a something. Really? Hi, Stacy. Looks scary. Did you see it? No. A woman appears behind Stacy for a brief second and then disappears. And Sarah captures it all on her phone camera inside. Stacy says he saw no one outside while installing the cam. But what makes this footage even more bizarre is that the figure has an eerie resemblance to a woman named Teresa Tingi who lost her life in 2008 under absolutely tragic circumstances very near this apartment. After discovering the shocking video, Sarah learns that the deceased woman was actually friends with her sister. Sarah feels that this possible connection to the spirit might have been the reason that she was able to capture the entity on video. So did Sarah capture the ghost of Teresa Tingi, still wandering the streets where she lost her life? You decide. Lost in the cemetery. Back in 2015, Enzo Alonso from the YouTube channel La Ruta Acolta visited a cemetery in Chile while doing research about a boy who allegedly predicted his own death. Enzo suddenly hears footsteps on his left. He turns his head, but no one there. Cut to years later, Enzo is going through his old footage when he discovers something truly chilling. A child appears right behind him at the exact moment he says he heard footsteps. Even creepier, the child's skin seems green and discolored. Enzo claims that there were no children at the cemetery at the time of this recording, certainly not any that looked like that. He says that he and his friend were completely alone. So is it a ghost caught on camera or just an elaborate hoax? A very 
Very strange hoax. Right. You can check out Enzo Alonso's YouTube channel, La Ruta Oculta, for more creepy paranormal investigations. That's not, um... Hi, Jumper. Nuke's top five viewer Tobias Olsen recently reached out to me about some very strange footage caught on CCTV at his old know? job at a trampoline park in Sweden. What do you believe? After the park the closed for the night, the building's alarm system went off without any reason. Confused by the alarm, the team yeah, checks the security footage and they are shocked by what they find. No. <laughs> Oh, she didn't say it, so. Oh, no. It happened a couple of times. What appears to be a dark shadow moves across several security cameras. Now, it's worth mentioning that these cameras are located 13 to 16 feet in the air. And are separated by a distance of almost 100 feet. What? So nothing or no one could have moved across those cameras at this speed and at this height. So what could this mysterious shadow have been? Is it something supernatural? Or just a very specific pattern of odd camera glitches? Let me know what you think. Halloween haunt? What do you or think? really haunted? The old Torella Hospital opened in 1953. It was so severely underfunded that the hospital didn't even have a morgue for its dead. Bodies were simply stacked in an unrefrigerated room. These days, strange things are still going down at the old Torella Hospital. You see, a condemned section of the hospital is now used as a haunted Halloween attraction called Asylum 49. Many workers and visitors have claimed to see a terrifying shadow apparition that they call, quote, the man in black, who is definitely not part of the Halloween attraction. YouTube ghost hunters Ogden Paranormal investigated the abandoned hospital turned Halloween haunt and caught something downright creepy. Note that in this clip there is a mannequin of a character from the TV series American Horror Story that is a part of the haunted attraction, but the mannequin is not even remotely the scariest thing in this room. Oh, yeah, I know I told that lady that. Did you see it? Yeah. Some strange shadow appears to be peering at them through the glass, but Maybe. then just disappears into oh. thin air. So did Ogden oh, Paranormal catch the infamous the man in black at the haunted old Tuella Hospital? You decide. Eyes in the dark. Ghost Hunter Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Soba Natural and his team members are invited to investigate an allegedly haunted farmhouse in the countryside of Brazil. The family that lives in the home claims that an old man haunts their farm and has made it nearly impossible for them to stay there. They hear loud unexplained sounds in the middle of the night and see shadows throughout their home. But creepiest of all, they often see the old man who haunts their home just sitting quietly in a chair in their house. As Sandro and his team begin their investigation, they hear an odd sound. Something seems to hit a drum in one of the rooms, not okay. once, but twice. Almost like something is trying to get their attention. Yeah. And then things get truly bizarre. Oh, 
Did you see it? No, I did not. The team hears the creaking yes, of a did. door that seems to be moving on its own. But what they don't realize is that someone or something is watching them from the dark. A figure with glowing eyes can be seen Big staring at them from behind the corner in the farmhouse oh, hallway. Well, when the video went live, YouTube that's viewers that's immediately that's pointed that's out that's the strange that's figure. That's but to this that's day, that's the creepy farmhouse lurker remains unexplained. You can check out the full video over on Sandro Silva's YouTube channel, oh, Casa well, Silva Natural. No. The Unwelcome Roommate. Yeah. Lainey and Ben are a British couple who say that their home is haunted by a very active poltergeist. For two years, they have witnessed objects moving or falling on their own. They felt the touch of something that just isn't there. I don't know what the Lights flicker like randomly and for no reason. Like, and they hear odd, really unexplained sounds and voices. Creepiest of all, late one night, Lainey says that she woke up and saw the apparition of a woman standing at the foot of their bed. But it wasn't until the recent global lockdown when Lainey and Ben were forced to stay at home that the activity became so frequent that they decided to share their experience on TikTok and YouTube. Well, okay, so just briefly, um, this is a mess, but it, this is my bedroom. And I've just been sat here just scrolling briefly. Now, every now and then, and you can see where it hits. Oh my God, it's just happened again. This thing, look, I'm just show you. There's nothing pulling that open. Every now and then, I'll come upstairs, and this is what's happening. That door just opened on its own. I saw it as well. What are you going to do about it? Because I'm not dealing with it. Why do I always have to be the one? Like, it's like I'm the sacrificial one. Literally? Well, I don't want to have to be the one to deal with it. Uh, oh. They will. You don't have right. to deal with it's it. It's Sunday morning. Close it and open. And I need to come down. I said, what? Why are you going to move? Why are you going to move? Why are you Me too. Uh, Sunday morning, we were just chilling out upstairs in bed and we just heard loads of noise. I love this fucking thing. I love this thing. And this is what we come down to. Covered in an absolute f***ing <laughs> estate. Hang on, I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh my God. Did you see that? Oh my God, it's f***ing off. <laughs> <laughs> After doing some research, Laney and Ben discovered that the land their new home was built on used to be an old burial site where several skeletal remains were found during construction. The couple says that they don't feel the presence in their home to be aggressive right now. But the paranormal activity does seem to be becoming more extreme as the weeks pass. Oh, no. Oh, look, Ben. Man. But given the bloody his toys that we spent 30 quid on at the start, he won't play with them like this. <laughs> He's not interested. Give him a ribbon that we found his bloody lying about. He loves it. Holy was that ball? I think it was. <laughs> this book's just come off this shelf. And I blame <gasps> I blame you. Why? <laughs> is that I'm why? Blaming you. Why? Oh, it's broken. Why? I blame you because you were asking for something. Yeah, about an hour ago. After all that, one night, things get truly bizarre. Oh my god, there's more? Are you gonna speak or not? Yeah. Should I do it? Alright. That door was like, it was shut, but not on the latch, and it's just open. So, um,. Yeah. Like, now you, now you. I got a load of grief in the comments because I sent you to go in and deal with this closed door, and now that door's triggered. So, and I'm not, I'm not down with that. Wonderful. Fuck the fuck up. Who the fuck threw that shit? I don't know. That's just scared the out of me. What the? I'm gonna say that there's something attached to that. Look under the phone table as well, Sharon. There's no f in it. I'm not down for that. That's a dishwasher under the, well, you know, unit, washing machine. Where could someone be hiding? Oh, that was me. Oh, God, you can't even see up there. 
An empty water bottle flies across the kitchen, startling both Ben and Lainey. Lainey snatches it up immediately to prove that there are no wires or strings, and Ben reveals that there are no accomplices hiding in the kitchen cupboards. To this day, the couple continues to share their creepy experiences on their TikTok and YouTube channel, hoping one day they will find more answers to their mysterious haunting. Well, no. Be sure to check out Lainey and Ben's YouTube channel or TikTok well, for future updates. No. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want a free 30-day trial at Shudder.com, be sure to use the code NUKE. In that was it, guys. OMG. These, some of them was creepy. Some of them, I don't believe that's real. As you guys seen, I don't know what to believe, but I hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. Bye!